Welcome back, and we're going to take a look at a prospect today, uh, William Valinder of the uh, of, of Sweden, a defenseman, six foot four, hundred ninety two pounds. This is another one of those cases where he's a big defenseman and he's mobile, and he's not projected to go really high in the draft as he would have years back. Uh, I I I can understand though there are some some concerns that scouts may have. But somebody's going to take him. I don't think he lasts very far into the second round, to be honest. You have a six foot four defenseman that can skate. Somebody's going to pick him up. So he's number 45 on Hockey Prospect, number 37 on Elite Prospects, 14th on NHL Central Scouting amongst European skaters, and he's number 27 on Bob McKenzie's list. So Bob McKenzie's high on him, as is Craig Button. So the overall numbers tell you, he could be a first rounder, late first rounder, could be early in the second, could be middle of the second. It really, again, depends on draft order. So, and I'm, I'm wearing a Calgary jersey because why not? Why not? Why not say, yeah, sure, sure Cal Calgary picks him up, sure. Uh, strengths, teamwork, strength itself, uh, being 6'4", makes sense, checks out. Puck handling and passing. And there's some division on exactly how high-end his offense is going to be and what he might be able to do. He's a good skater, and it's likely going to get better. He's not 18 as of yet. Uh, I believe he's turning 18 quickly here. Yeah, his birthday's in four days. There you go. So he's turning 18 in four days, so he is young in this draft class. Uh, good skater, that's why it's likely to get better. He adapts well. So he seems to play better with a structured game. Uh, as he goes up into the next level... And he's, he's played a bit with, with Moto. He seems to adapt well to uh, structure. So that, to me, says he's coachable. And that might help mitigate some of the, the drawbacks you see with him. He is seen as a puck rusher. Some of his passes may, as a fan, lead you to say that might not have been the best place to put that puck. But that happens with defensemen at times. He does need to work on his turnovers, which is related to the puck rushing. There are times where those turnovers will come back to haunt him. And the consistency is still something he's working on. He's 18 in four days. So again, there's going to be a team that looks at this kid and says, he's six foot four. he hasn't turned 18 yet, he's 192 pounds. He's a blue liner, we need him. So, right? Uh, we'll see what happens. Now last year, playing junior 18, and all this is with Moto, uh, 16 games, 4 goals, 8 assists, 12 points. Junior 20, he only played 2 games, 1 assist. This year, playing junior 18, so 18 under, or under 18, I should say, 1 game, 5 assists in that 1 game. Uh, junior 20, uh, 37 games, 5 goals, 19 assists, 24 points. He played for Moto then, so he's played against men, 18 games and 2 points. The question marks would seem to be how much pure skill is there, does his high-risk style end up being one of those things he grows out of? Or does that end up costing him a uh, spot at a, on an NHL roster? And is that consistency going to improve? He is a guy who was, was more highly regarded coming into his draft year than he necessarily is right now. Uh, one scouting report, we all liked him early, but he started to slide for us as well. A uh, better puck game would have helped him. So basically, he's got the skills, he's got the toolbox, it's a matter of putting it all together. And the overall package so far is one that leads scouts to say, eh, probably not first round, but maybe. Because according to Bob McKenzie, he is. So we'll see where he ends up going. Swedish defenseman, I, I wouldn't mind seeing him in Vancouver, to be honest, but it's out of my control. So, you know, uh, and out of theirs as well, uh, we'll see where he ends up. And whether maybe he maybe he goes to the Kings early in the second round, like it, it will be interesting to see. Because again, you've got a defenseman that's six four and skates really well, and is probably going to get better at skating. Even if he doesn't end up being a top four, really really solid defenseman, if he's top six and he can provide that size and that speed, it's really tough to pass on him. Because you've got to think the floor should be relatively high, even if the ceiling is still completely up in the air and you're not quite sure where it's going to land but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below regarding volander don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happened upon this video and hey thank you guys so much for watching for all your support i will talk to you again soon